and this is a crazy amount of swatches. <laughs> you saw it here first, folks. <sighs> I think I'm gonna be out of breath by the end of this video. Hello everyone, my name is Aijing and today we get to talk about the new Lisa Eldrin releases. Woohoo! She released new glosses, new lipsticks, all of the liners and even foundation samples. I won't be talking about the foundation today because I wanted to make that in a separate video. So I'll just go through the lip products and we're going to do an unboxing, all the swatches, all the comparisons. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is an unboxing. I haven't opened my box at all and I think maybe if you were watching the unboxing you could get the adrenaline and kind of live vicariously through my massive order of her products. So this is what the package looks like. It's always in this nice white box and I really like the fact that she's got this rip open thing to make it easier. Okay, so everything's recyclable. Everything's always wrapped up in tissue paper really nicely. Just so you know, I ordered on the launch day. Um, I had my alarm or reminder set, so I was on the website. Um, so I was on the website straight away. Um, I didn't buy everything. I'll talk you through what I bought. Uh, but yeah, I bought it on Friday and this arrived uh, Tuesday morning, first thing in the morning. So these are all of the lip products I got. And these are the foundation sample cards. I did buy an extra two. But like I said, we'll go through the foundation another time. And just in case you didn't know, all of Lisa's um, lips and glosses come in this packaging um, and they have these three different sizes. and when you put them together it makes a logo which is very nice and the exact same thing happens with the lip liners really really nice so I got all of the new shades of lipstick and glosses and I got um, another Velvet Dragon because I lost mine. Um, I think my cat knocked it into the bin and then my husband emptied the bin without looking what was in it. I didn't get um, all of the liners because I'm not a big lip liners person and it's like £19 for a lip liner so it's just too expensive. It, it just all adds up way too much. So let's talk about the new lipsticks first. They come in this packaging as I've shown you already. Inside is black again, her logo, and this is the shade Velvet Cinnabar by the way, just picked up a random one. And this is a gold lipstick, so it's all nice and protected with another layer of cardboard inside, magnetic. And here we go, this is Vel Velvet Cinnabar, that is a very nice shade. Um, Velvet Cinnabar lipstick is currently sold out by the way so is the lip liner um, I think because the new shades they sold out really fast this is the gloss in the shape petal so again it's that same size cardboard but you don't have the protective sleeve inside it's just the paper cardboard petal so this is what it looks like and again it's got her name there great and let's just open up the lip liner as well and I'll just show you exactly what all the boxes look like so this is the enhance and define lip pencil and let's just open it up so again just cardboard sides and I've got the shade mew just open up a random one and they are pretty tight there we go so that's a that's the muse there, that's what the lip liners look like. Interestingly, the packaging is different to last time. So she released the lip liners last year this time as well, but they came in kits. So um, she had a new kit for blush. So I got the entire kit for blush and it came with a lip liner. And interestingly, you can see, so this is the old packaging. 
This is new packaging. I thought it looked different. Yeah. So new packaging, shiny gold cap. I'm oh, sorry, old packaging, shiny gold cap. New packaging, matte gold cap. I think the old packaging maybe feels a bit heavier actually. And you can see the lettering is a little bit different as well. So the new ones at the top, it's got the logo in a bit bigger than her letter and the old ones at the bottom. Can you see? That's interesting. Um, I don't think the formula will be different. I can't imagine that being the case. And on the box, by the way, all of the shades are right at the top. So I guess if you're someone who's really into the packaging, um, you can keep the boxes and you can still see the shade names. Otherwise, if you just have them out in your drawer or in your storage or whatever, um, all of the colours is right at the end of the pencil, which makes it very handy. Okay, so I purchased 10 of the lip liners. Um, these are some of the shades. And all of the new lip glosses, the three shades, um, Dragon, Petal and Cinnabar. And of course, the four new lipstick shades as well. So in Velvet Petal, Velvet Intrigue, Velvet Cinnabar and Velvet Blush Lightly. So, I'm really excited to try Velvet Intrigue, which is the newest, lightest shade in the collection because it's a little bit warmer as well. Um, and what I find really annoying is all of the lipsticks always look darker on my lips compared to um, Lisa in her video and compared to the models on the website. And I just find that, I mean, I don't know, it's great that she's got different skin tones and different models showing what they look like, but it just, on my lips, it doesn't look like any other photos she's got on her website which I've seen from like you guys' comments as well so that's quite interesting so we'll just start off with the lip liner interestingly because I remember last time when she was talking about the lip liners they are on you know how the lids are on really tight but this time around they're definitely a lot easier to open with a softness of hue, this delicately warm, light peach rose beige gives a whisper light effect. A velvet fawn with its cool beige pink attitude is inspired by the 1990s, then this shade is inspired by the 1960s, albeit with a modern and wearable update. The light is of all the true velvet shades. Okay. Can you see that? So... Okay, so this is what Velvet um, Intrigue what liner looks like. I'm just going to swatch on the back of my hand. This is the liner. Cool! Okay, so this is what Velvet Intrigue looks like, lined. Um, and I will actually just colour my top lip with this. And we've got Velvet Intrigue lipstick. Wow! That is very pretty. And by the way, I'm going to swatch all of the new colours first and then I'm going to swatch similar shades on my arms, maybe on my lips if my lips can handle it so you can see how similar they are. And obviously go back to my other videos on this channel because I have all of the shades swatched on my lips. So they're all there, they're all there. So we're going to put it on my bottom lip first. God, my lips are already so chapped. And this is Velvet Intrigue on my hand. Okay, so you can see the lip liner is a touch deeper. Okay, um, Lisa does say this on her website as well. And I've just zoomed you in, so I feel like maybe you can see that the lip liner here is just a little bit. I mean, all of this is just the liner, and this is lip liner and lipstick. And the liner and the lipstick is not quite the same shade. There's a slight difference and I'm really sorry that my lips are so chapped right now. Yeah, so just a bit deeper. Okay, so this is Velvet Intrigue. My top lip is all filled with liner, then lipstick over top, and the bottom lip is just liner outside and lipstick filled in. So this is Velvet Intrigue. Um, this is basically warmer than Velvet Fawn and I think it's actually a lot more flattering on me. This is probably going to be my new go-to shade, might even be my wedding day shade. Uh, okay, right, let's do the next shade, 
velvet petal. This is velvet petal. Okay, this is a much brighter colour. That's the shade petal. I think, I mean, velvet petal and velvet intrigue do look quite similar on the back of my hand. So, velvet petal. Think of the soothing song of the spring peony in full bloom. This perfectly formed light warm pink borrows all the best from nature's palette in a Parisian florist window. Just shy of a cotton candy snapdragon, it flutters more on the side of a perfectly sophisticated and chic essential. Wow. I don't know how people come up with these shade descriptions. Okay, so again, top lip filled entirely with liner, bottom lip just lined with liner and a little bit of petal, I'm gonna... F ah, it's just when you just look at these bullets I don't want to use it, it just ruins it Okay, again, it is really obvious that the liner is just a touch darker like the pigment is just a touch stronger with the liner so I don't know you can quite tell in the video um, but when I'm applying the lipstick, I can definitely tell that the outside is deeper. Velvet Petal. Hmm, I really like this one. Right, so next shade, Velvet Blush Lightly. Don't believe I got the liner for this one, because I personally think that Velvet Blush Lightly's colour was just going to be really similar to Petal or Muse, beauty that I didn't want to get lip liner that was only a touch different so we're just going to do the lipstick for it okay so a little swatch there so this is velvet blush lightly so just a little bit deeper than petal so blush lightly as the name suggests this is a softer and less intense version of the best-selling velvet blush as requested by you a playful wearable medium muted berry tone which evokes a just bitten lip flush with colour as delightfully jejun as the lips in a Fragonard or Boucher artwork. This is Rococo for the lips with a modern twist. This one will set this one will set hearts racing. So this is Velvet Blush Lightly. Blush is definitely quite deep on me. Um, I will compare the two shades later. So this is nice. Um, I personally feel like this is still quite dark, so I definitely prefer Velvet Petal. Um, but yeah, definitely more wearable than the original blush for me on my skin tone. Okay, and lastly, we have a new shade, Velvet Cinnabar. Um, this shade, like I said, is sold out alongside the lip gloss and lip liner. I did not get a lip liner for this one, which I regret, and you'll see why later. So the Cinnabar shade is described as inspired by the dense poisonous red mineral which has been used as a precious resource around the world since at least the 10th millennium BC. During ancient rituals and rites of passage it came to denote blood, victory, success and even immortality. In its various forms, including vermilion, it has been used as an artist pigment and can be seen in the frescoes of ancient Rome. It was also used extensively as a cosmic, most famously by Queen Elizabeth I, to create an intensely dramatic and powerful effect on the lips and cheeks. Velvet Cinnabar is the deepest, richest, most powerful burnt ochre warm brown red imaginable. Oh my god, so dramatic. Okay, this is Velvet Cinnabar, and this is Velvet Cinnabar swatch on the back of my hand, by the way. So another reason why I didn't get Velvet Cinnabar liner was because like I said, the shade just looked different on me compared to the models on the website and compared to Lisa in the video. The shade always looks darker on me compared to Lisa. I don't know if it's a lighting or whatever. And I really don't <laughs> wear dark shades all that often. So I didn't want to spend money on a lip liner that I wasn't going to use. Um, but anyway, this is the shade Cinnabar. Um, it's not actually as dark as I thought it was going to be. Um, we'll compare it with um, Dragon and Jazz, see how they look. Um, and what I'm going to do later on in the video is use a different colour lip line that I have and apply the shade and see how it looks. But for now, this is Velvet Cinnabar. 
very nice, very pretty. Okay, so there you have it. These are the four new shades, going from the top, Velvet Intrigue, Velvet Petal, Velvet Blush Lightly, and Velvet Cinnabar. Let's get into the glosses. And by the way, on Lisa's website, the gloss, this is the description of the lip glosses. Embellish your lips with a smooth, non-sticky veil of colour while sim simultaneously replenishing them with nourishing oils and butters. This clever multitasking formulation functions as both medium to high pigment gloss and instant restoring treatment, cushioning the lips with mullein hydrators and leaving them as soft as silk. Lips feel smooth and plumped long after application has worn off. The benefits of intense lip care fuse with the fashionability of a truly loosened lip colour. Um, a gloss and lip care hybrid with key lip care ingredients including wild mango kernel butter, acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil and vitamin E oil. So let's start with velvet petal again and I am going to line the top half of my my top lip with the velvet petal lip liner and my bottom lip with a different colour. Okay so I'm going to use the muse lip liner on my bottom lip to see how it works and just so you know, this is the Muse Liner there. Okay, so this is Muse Liner and this is Velvet Petal Liner. Can you see much of a difference? A little bit, yeah. I mean, Petal is a little bit more pink. Muse is a little bit more cool and a bit more berry. But, you know, like I said, this is why I don't want to get all the lip liners because they're just going to look similar I mean on the lips it looks slightly more different a petal is definitely more pink, more bright, more warm but again, like I said is it worth it? probably not Nature's palette of fluttering delicate petals has inspired the prettiest of pinks. Think of rambler roses, foxgloves and geraniums lent a gilded, loosened lacquer courtesy of high-tech formulation. The world in bloom has alighted on the lips with a shiny laminated finish. My top lip liner in the colour Petal with lip gloss Petal. Lower lip liner in Muse with gloss Petal. Can you see the difference between my top lip and my bottom lip? Anyway, you can be the judge. I don't think these two shades are that different. Okay, the next lip gloss shade we'll do is Dragon. Dragon liner. Here. I'm gonna use a dragon liner now. So the Velvet Dragon lip gloss is a lacquered take on the rich red hue, a blood burnt orange red pigment that sings of the Chinese ceramics. It was inspired by derives from ancient civilizations and their jewellery and ornaments, yet totally up to date. Okay, so this is a shade Dragon Gloss with Dragon Liner outlining my lips. And this is what the dragon looks like at the back of my hand. I really like this shade. I think it's very flattering on my skin tone and I'll compare it with the other red glosses that she has as well and lastly we have the shade Cinnabar Gloss and I'll just put a little swipe of this okay that's quite deep I forgot to swatch um, Dragon Gloss I'll just put that below Dragon Liner Okay, so Cinnabar is definitely a lot deeper um, and since I don't have the Velvet Cinnabar lip liner, I'm going to pick a different lip liner and the shade I'm going with is the shade um, Jazz. I'm only lining my bottom lip with the Jazz lip liner and leaving my top lip bare so you can see what the gloss looks like by itself. An autumnal hue. Think of kicking through crisp leaves shed on the ground. This is also inspired by ancient Chinese pigment. This reddish burnt ochre flatters all skin tones and lends a divine high gloss drama to the painted or nude face. So I do find with these glosses you can just apply a one thin layer and it's definitely less pigment or you can build it up like I have 
and is really dramatic and pigmented even though it is a lip gloss. I think the, sh um, the Jazz liner added more depth to this gloss as you can see from my bottom lip. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what this would look like with a dragon liner actually. This is Cinnabar gloss. Okay, so these are all the new shades and now I'm going to swatch all of the shades of the lip liners um, with similar lipstick shades and the corresponding lipstick shades so we can contrast, compare. So let's see what Lisa says about these lip liners. The Enhance and Define Beauty liners are available in the same tone as lipstick but are deeper in intensity for an extra defined look. This luxury lip pencil adds extra depth to your lips, making them look fuller and defined to perfection. Perfection with a capital P. My lip pencils are gel formula that glides on smoothly and easily to even the driest lips. Once set, they are completely smudged and waterproof. So let's go from lightest to darkest and compare. Intrigue. And next we have the shade Petal. And let's go with Muse. And then Affair. By the way, I didn't get the shade Fawn because is an exact shade, same shade as another lip liner in my collection, soon to be revealed. Beauty. Blush. Just a quick re refresh. Intrigue, Petal, Muse, Affair, Beauty, Blush. We have Carnival. Dragon, Jazz, Morning, Ribbon, Midnight. Okay, so these are all the lip liner shades that I own, which is 12 of them. So we go from the top, Intrigue, Petal, Muse, Affair, Beauty, Blush, Carnival, Dragon, Jazz, Morning, Ribbon, and then Midnight. And then let's put some corresponding lipsticks next to them. I am going to put Velvet Fawn at top here as a comparison to the lip. So that's just a sort of velvet form. As you can see, you know, I feel like Intrigue will work well, uh, Muse will work well, Affair could work well with his lipstick, and this Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Cream and Sugar is an exact match. Let me show you. So, right at the top there. Can you see how similar this lip liner that was already in my collection is to Velvet Fawn? It's basically the same shade, which is why I didn't get the liner in Fawn. And this is a lipstick Velvet Muse. And let's just put that there. The third liner being this one here, that one there, that's Muse, so a pretty good match. And then we've got Velvet Beauty, which I have the liner shade of as well, I'm just going to swatch that here. So Velvet Beauty, if we ignore that Rogue Marc Jacobs one at the top, it's the fourth liner. Again, pretty similar to the um, 
lipstick shade, they are basically identical, as you would expect. And then I will just swap Velvet Affair as well. Okay, so Velvet Affair is there, and Velvet Affair the line though is a fourth one down, ignoring the Marc Jacobs one right at the top. I'm also just going to do a swipe of Blush Lightly. Okay, Blush Lightly. And yeah, so I did two swipes of Blush Lightly here and here. So yeah, can you see? I feel like Blush Lightly looks very similar to the liner Petal and liner Beauty. So I'm really glad. Oh shoot, I just put that on my trousers. So I'm really glad that I didn't get the Blush Lightly liner as well. I just don't think it would have been necessary. Yeah, and especially to Beauty, I think it looks really similar as I expected it da. So I'm going to put Beauty liner on my lips. Okay, so my top lip is just Velvet Beauty lip liner, and then bottom there you can see Beauty lip liner, and I'm gonna put blush lightly on top. Okay, can you see a difference between my top lip and bottom lip? No, not at all. And by the way, so as you can see here with the lipstick swatches as well, this is blush lightly and this is Velvet Beauty. So Beauty, I guess, is just a touch brighter, but then as you know, the liners are a little bit darker, so I think the liner um, Beauty is actually a perfect match for Blush Lightly lipstick. So that's all of the nudie pinky shades. Let's swatch some of the other ones. Oof, this is a fresh velvet dragon. Look how pristine it looks. Right, I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna swatch it. Okay. Right, so this is Velvet Dragon. Oh, so pretty. Love the shade. Love the shade. And obviously we need to swatch it next to Cinnabar. Okay, yeah, I mean Cinnabar is definitely darker, more brown. Okay, then let's do Velvet Jazz as well. Just gonna do it here. Okay, so Velvet Jazz is actually definitely more berry than I originally thought it was. Okay, fair enough, cool, cool, that's quite different. And of course Velvet Morning, but I mean Velvet Morning is obviously so much brighter. So Velvet Morning there. In terms of the liners, I don't think you need both Dragon and Morning. Let's just have a, a look and see on the lips, shall we? I'm interested by this one. Okay, so I'm going to line my top lip with Dragon. And I'm going to line my bottom lip with Morning. Okay, I mean on camera you can see my bottom lip is brighter. But once we put lipstick over it, I don't think you'll see the difference. Obviously, if you're gonna use a lip liner as a lipstick, then sure, get both. But if you're using a lip liner as a lip liner, I don't think you need both shades. Does that make sense? Okay, so as I'm looking at my lips now, I think my top lip has more of an ombre effect because the liner is slightly darker and my bottom lip, they do just look like there are there's just one shade there. So, I don't know, I just, I don't think they look different enough to get both. Dragon liner and Cinnabar lipstick. Okay, let's try that. I'm gonna put blush on my top lip. And let's do Velvet Cinnabar. Okay, neither of those shades really work with Cinnabar. I'm gonna grab Jazz. Jazz, Dragon and Blush. None of those three actually works that well with Velvet Cinnabar, which is very surprising. Now I wish I had got the Velvet Cinnabar lip liner. This is my Velvet Decade lipstick. Let's do a swatch. 
year. Okay, so decade is a lot more brown, a lot deeper than cinnabar. Interesting. I have this Pat McGrath um, pencil in Living Legend. Let's do a swatch comparing. I'm really just running out of space here, but. Uh, okay, so Living Legend is definitely kind of a berry tone as well. Let's see if that will work with Cinnabar. Okay, not really a great match. Wow. Okay, fine. So Cinnabar is definitely a shade that I wish I had gotten now because I don't have anything in my collection that matches it either. And let's try this NYX pencil in Soft Spoken. So I've got the NYX pencil Soft Spoken here. Let's try this one. So Soft Spoken is basically my lip shade, but a little bit darker. Um, just a touch darker, so obviously not as dark as Cinnabar. Um, have a look. But this lip liner works the best because it's basically my lip shade. So it just guides me putting the lips gone. And I also have this other Pat McGrath liner in the shade Suburbia. So that's the liner in Suburbia. Yeah. So Suburbia and Blush are very similar. The outer one, this one, is Blush by Lisa Aldridge. And this is Suburbia lip liner by Pat McGrath. Dupes, for sure. I don't think I've swatched Velvet Ribbon yet. So I'm just going to put that here. And you say true red. And obviously perfect match for the lip liner, which is the second one for the bottom. And I also got the liner Midnight because I wanted a dark liner. This is a li uh, lipstick, Velvet Midnight. Good, perfect match. So now we need to do some lip gloss comparisons. I'm just going to start with the darker shades because they're right in front of me. So new shade. Cinnabar, there, okay, Dragon, there, Ribbon, Myth, okay, sorry I think the Dragon Gloss and the Ribbon Gloss will look quite similar. I'm going to just take Cinnabar off of my lips and show you. So this is Ribbon going on my bottom lip. Dragon going on top. Okay, they look different enough actually. Um, ribbon leans a bit more pink, a little bit red, brighter. And Dragon is definitely more orange. Immediately... Petal and Songbird look very similar. So Songbird, which is also sold out by the way. There. And then we've got Petal. Songbird is definitely more of a nude. Petal is more of a pink. I am putting on Petal by the way, which I think is a really pretty shade. And then we've got Songbird. So upper lip, Songbird, bottom lip, Petal ever so slightly a difference so minor it's just my bottom lip looks slightly more pink um but uh, i think they definitely look very similar um i mean if i didn't tell you they're different shades would you think they're different shades i don't think you need both just pick the one these three shades also look similar got blush affair and muse but these are all old shades, but just out of interest, we'll compare it anyway. Okay, yeah, no, blush is a lot darker. A fair, which I'm just going to put here. So that's a fair. Muse, which I'll put here on the bottom. Okay, so we've got a fair at the top, muse at the bottom. They look very similar. Songbird, Muse, and the Fair. The gloss on my bottom lip off, which is Petal, keeping Songbird on top, and then putting 
a fair on a bottom. Mm -hmm. Actually, that looks different enough to me. Yeah, a fair you can see is a lot deeper. Um, definitely more brown, which is nice. And this is a crazy amount of swatches. <laughs> I think that's all of the swatching I am going to do. Surprisingly, my lips actually feel more moisturised than the beginning of this video. I think it's because of the oil-based makeup remover I've been using and these uh, lipsticks are not drying at all, especially with the glosses, they're really nice and moisturising. So my lips feel great now, <laughs> weirdly. I do wish I had picked up Cinnabon Liner. Any regrets? I think there are definitely shades that are very similar to each other that I didn't need to have. Um, like Petal and Muse are really, really similar. So I think one would be one would be fine. I would probably pick Petal because Muse and the Fair again gets a little bit similar. But yeah, I am really happy with, with what I've got. And honestly, these, these lip liners, they don't move. Seriously, they, they really don't move. So, can't complain about that. Um, and don't forget um, to keep an eye out for my foundation video that will come out probably next week, I think. So I really hope this video helped you out with a potential future purchase from Lisa Aldridge's website. Um, I, I got a lot, so and you can see quite a lot of them look similar, so you know what to get, what not to get. Um, yeah, so if you liked it, please like, please comment, please subscribe, share, whatever, it, it will really help me out. Uh, my most viewed video on my channel is a Lisa Eldridge lipstick swatch video, so hopefully this one will do quite well as well. Um, yeah, I enjoy filming this, I enjoy these products, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye. Let's just get into it. Let's let's so let's just let's just get into this. My foundation is so messed up. <laughs> so I just wanna quickly let you guys know that a fair blush like the Cinnabar Petal uh pencils are out of stock. Um uh, Velvet Petal Cinnabar Blush Light E and um blush lipstick are all out of stock. And the new glosses, so Cinema Gloss, Petal Gloss and Sombre Gloss are all out of stock already. And she does still have some shades of the Luxuriously trans, uh, luxuriously Lucent lipstick colour as well. Both of them are out of stock, uh, but there are some still in stock. So if you're interested in getting them, 